We are here with Indiana, who is our model, and we are going to be comparing a soft box, soft light source, to a very hard light uh, source to see what that does to these toothy fabrics, a lot of texture. Uh, we're gonna get a nice soft light first with our Profoto 2x3 off-camera flash soft box. Um, we've got it mounted high above her. We also have a little hair light in the back there, just kind of giving her a little rim light. Um, but this is our main light source. And that's, we also have a bounce light down here. So we have a reflector, a white reflector surface, so that any stray light that's hitting down here is bouncing back up and kind of filling in the shadows of the chair um, so that we don't just get blackness in front of the chair. Uh, our camera is way down here, and I'm gonna be away from the camera directing Indy towards me, so I am triggering it with a pocket lizard. Ready? That's beautiful. You can see that the soft box creates a beautiful soft light, and because it's up above her, it just kind of it lights her shoes and her, her skirt and her dress and her hat and her face. It lights everything up really nicely. So the whole image stays very uniform because of the soft light. Uh, it fills in its own shadows. Uh, it, not only does it fill the shadows all around the room, but it also fills the shadows inside of the textures of her clothing. And so in order to really intensify the textures of her clothing, we want to then use a harder light source uh, with a lot more direction, and then we'll see those textures really come out. And we're also going to lose some of the ambient light uh, looking around, so we won't have as bright a background as for and a foreground. It'll be much more moody, uh, but it'll have a lot more texture to it. So we have changed out the softbox for a snoot with a 30 degree grid underneath it. So, we are going to have very directional light, a very small light source. Let's see the difference. You ready? They put a dog in a spaceship. Yeah. So look at the difference between these two shots. All we did is change one modifier and re-aim the snoot to make sure it was hitting her, and that's it. That's the difference between these two shots. One modifier gives us a very small light source that is very directional. The other light source, the softbox, gives us a very large light source that has very little direction to it. We took a light and lovely shot and changed it into a dark dramatic shot just by changing one light modifier. So the next time you're on set and you've got your shot accomplished, try swapping out one light modifier and see if you can completely alter your shot and get a second shot out of that setup.